got something exciting. Jason here, the old camera guy, and I have something that's really special to me and dear to me, and I think it'll be an interest to you. Okay, what I have here is going to be doing an unboxing of a film camera, a Canon F1N, and this here is my very first camera that I uh, bought myself and started my professional career with. So we're going to unbox this thing and see what we got in here. So uh, here we go. Let's start with uh, the lens. Okay, let's take a look, see what we got. Oh, wow, we got a uh, perfect, all this gear's from 1981. This one was originally designed. You know, they sold it uh, through the early 90s before they going uh, to autofocus and film. And uh, so what we have is the Canon 1.4 and manual focus. This is exciting, right here. What do I see through the window here? Serial number to the lens. What? Got this from Japan. Um, took about a week. It was no big deal. It was great. And this is basically the whole setup. The whole setup completely. So super excited. Oh wow. Oh wow. So open it up the box. Got the card to identify the lens here. And then we've got the original foam. I mean, look at this. No one makes like that anymore. You don't see this kind of foam anymore. So looks like the day it was made. I guess why well, it's non-biodegradable, right? All right. And then we have documentation. It's kind of kind of brown and crispy. It's over the time, over the last oh, 40 years or so. I mean, um, and it's all in Japanese, it looks like. So let's take a look here. Uh, there's some French in there. Oh yeah, look at that, the old, the old graphic designs there. That is cool from the, from the lens, um, giving the instructions on how to, how to use such a beast. All right, let's check this out. Let's get in here. So voila, oh look, it comes apart. Oh wow, this is, wow. Yeah, this is amazing. Let's take a look at this glass. Let's see how it looks. In the photos on eBay, it looked really amazing. So let's see. Oh wow, that is incredible. I've never seen optics that clean before. Oh, uh, you know, of this age of a lens anyways. I mean like I've had, the, like I, when, when I had the lens, it was a, still do have that one actually. It's a Canon 1.8, not the 1.4. And um, heck, my lens never looked this good. So. This is really exciting. And then this is the one thing like modern lenses uh, don't have anymore is the depth of field scale. We'll go through, what we'll future videos? We'll, we'll talk about all this, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Wow, this is really exciting. Original Canon caps on both sides from the manual focus FD system. It's, that's awesome, awesome. And then our next box that we got here, well first, first. We're going into the big boxes, it's all exciting, but there's a whole, like a whole bag of like little accessories here. And let's see what we got in here. So, oh yeah, look at this, super vintage. So, okay, well at least if you've ever seen one of these, you plug it into your shutter and you and let you get a little standoff distance to be able to trip your shutter away from the camera. These used to come in like incredible lengths. Um, I remember as a kid, like the photographer having one that was like, six, seven feet long so they can get in and interact with their subjects. Um, all right, what else we got? Let's see. Oh, I saw this in the picture. This is really cool. This is the Canon magnifier. So you would, there's actually two of them in here. So I'm not sure exactly why I got two, but that's what was in the system. That was what was pictured and, and it sent me everything that was pictured. And like I said, the complete system. In my original system, I did have one of these. So super exciting, original plastic. That's really great. And like, here it is. And so you, you attach this, this metal piece to the camera here. So um, this gets attached in and let's see, let's get it undone here. <sighs> yeah, there we go. So you attach this, the, the, your, it screws into your eyepiece and this just folds up like so and out of the way when you're trying to compose. And then when you need to get precision focus, you fold it down and you peep through and it just like brings it up. So it, it's manual focus this. I actually never used this even though I had it. And I thought I needed it, 
but the, the focus screens on the Canon F1N are so clear that really you can focus really pretty well uh, with, without any sort of assist like this. It's probably really useful if you're doing macro photography with film, but uh, other than that, I think that it's probably, you know, you, you know, probably will never, never use it. And see, and he, and basically here's another one, slightly different version. This is what is exciting about all these the original Japanese price tag on this. That's exciting. And then, oh yeah, well, one gonna escape from the, so from the bag, I guess it didn't pack it in the box. These are kind of hard to fit into the box, so I kind of understand. So, and this here, I saw this in the photo, is now the American version, the, the, the strap that came with the camera, um, was a gray strap, very low profile. And this, you have seen, this is Canon's, this Canon F1N, this camera was a pretty cool, techno, not techno, help me. So it was a big step forward. So, but this one here, so I saw in the picture, I didn't think I'd be interested in it. Super cool vintage strap. It has this red leather here old buckle um i had actually bought a different camera strap to use on this uh, rig but this one is so cool i'm definitely using this one because it is super cool uh vintage love the fact this is canon all right now the big stuff okay well besides the lens kind of already spoiled it there for you so this guy is the battery pack for the motor drive, okay? And look at that. I mean, look at like the yellowing and the sticker, the fading of the red. I mean, it doesn't get any more vintage than this. This is super exciting. So this is called the Battery Pack FNJ. My understanding is that there's a rechargeable version uh, too. I can't imagine after, you know, 40 something years, it's actually works but you know the rechargeable version this one is not the rechargeable version let's see let's see what we got in here oh this is exciting again with the you know the foam right here let's do this let's open it from the other side so we don't mess up the box and we will push it through so oh yeah here we go oh you hear that the slide of the foam all right what do we got Oh, wow. Okay, let's take a look. So, instruction manual. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, there's not a whole lot to this one, uh, instruction manuals. Um, there's definitely some things you have to be careful with the motor drive with. Um, and we'll kind of get into that here in a second. Um, or maybe I'll save it for another video and you have to tune back in. That way I can tell you all about these. Because like I said, I, this is the camera that I launched my career on. New, I you know, had all the ins and outs on it. So, but this is the battery pack. This is the part that connects to the bottom of the motor drive. And this thing looks completely brand new. I don't think I've ever seen one in this good of a condition here. So yeah, so. And this here is the battery release. And this thing takes 12, 12 double A's. This camera, when it's all assembled and everything, it's literally a boat anchor, okay? Don't go swimming with it. So you're not gonna survive. So, but yeah, and you can see these are the connections to it to make the connection and everything to it. Um, you've got the, the screws here to made up with the uh, hard drive. I mean, with the hard drive, with the uh, motor drive. And yeah, that's it. And a vertical shutter button up here. And you can lock it so that way, you know, as you're running through the streets, you know, it's not slapping your leg and, you know, cooking off all your expensive film. So yeah, very cool. Let's set that over there and take that. So yeah, I love these old manuals. I can't believe it has all the paperwork. I love it. So. All right, put that in there. I'm just gonna set that aside so we can move right along here. And the motor drive itself, super cool. I mean, like Canon did a good job with packaging these things. You can see like the slight yellowing, you see the barcode here and everything. And you know, the description on every side, 
just the, the vintage Canon FD colors of the red and the gold and black. Um, yeah, so, so, oh wow. Okay, <laughs> yes. This is cool, this is cool. The original warranty card, and let's take a look here. It is in Japanese, of course, so, and it has a year of 1993. Like they printed the 19 on here because they didn't expect us, I don't know, like we weren't gonna make it to, to the 20s, I don't know. But it says 1993, 6, 19. So they write their dates backwards. They're just a little bit than us. Uh, so year, month, day. So this was uh, bought in June of 2019. And yeah, all Japanese, can't read any of it, but this is kind of cool. The dealer's name and address, all in, all in Japanese. <laughs> that is cool. Nice kind of yellow patina to it. That is awesome. And then, oh, look at that. Original manual. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. This is cool. So original manual, looks great. Um, it starts off kind of English and Japanese together. There's definitely some precautions you want to take while using one of these and film. Um, and we'll, we'll go over that. We'll go over that eventually too. But look at this original plastic bag that it came in. So it tells me it's not in its bag inside here. Let's take a look. Oh wow! 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 Oh yeah! Look at this. Oh wow! Perfect condition. Perfect condition. The counter window is clear. The rewind switch. All the metal and contacts are completely clean and clear. This is super cool. And see right here is the hole, okay? You're gonna see this in the camera here in a minute. This is where you put your plugs, okay? See, these three things make connection with the bottom of the camera here, and there's plugs covering the camera. And uh, I know they're all there, saw them in the photo. So, but this here is where they store. So they sandwich in between the um, battery pack, okay? So like this, the battery pack, and here so you don't lose your plugs. And they, they go together, it goes together like that. So yeah, super cool. Seven frames per second, super fast back then. So, so or was it five frames a second for the double A's and then if you had the rechargeable pack, it was seven frames a second. I don't remember. I know for back then, like hearing one of these things blaze away, it was so cool. You're talking about cooking a 36 exposure roll, you know, um, in um, six, seven seconds. So it doesn't, doesn't take long, that's for sure. So I'm super excited. I wasn't originally wanting a motor drive. I was just wanting the camera because I thought it'd be exciting to do some uh, film photography. I did that. Uh, after seeing all this in this condition, I was like, okay, we're gonna have to use the motor drive. It's going to be really excellent. So anyways, let's set that aside. And then finally, the very last thing, what you've been waiting for, right? The camera. This is what everybody cares about. This is all the rage right now, film. Look at the condition of this box. Look at that. Oh man, look, I mean, it's amazing. You got the, the diagram of the camera there. Um, yeah, like here's the window that would have the warranty card or the um, serial number card to identify it. So you could look, basically the idea is if it was sitting on the shelf and you were doing inventory in these camera stores, you could see the serial number and you knew that you can match this against what your shipping label was and you, look, you knew what you had without, you know, tearing into the box. At least that's my assumption of the reason why those are always there. And I think Canon's always done that. Like I remember them doing that uh, with the uh, film cameras as well. Uh, ooh, look at that, again. Sounds so good. <laughs> that old crinkly plastic. They just don't make it like, you don't get it like that anymore. You know, they don't make, and hey, look at that. It's kind of, that is cool. Don't put that on your head, folks. All right. All right. Oh, original camera extraction manual. It's a little sun faded, but you know, after 40 years, what you expect, right? So, um, yeah, all starts out Japanese, all Japanese talks about the battery, appropriate battery and everything you're supposed to be using. Um, that is awesome. Um, I remember when I had mine, it was all in English and everything. So that's wild. Set that aside. 
Oh, what is this? Let's see. What? 3, 11, 28. So this is a letter in Japanese. I'm assuming it's Japanese. I don't know. It could be Chinese. could be Mandarin. I don't know. I'm assuming it's Japanese because it came from Japan. But it looks like maybe a thank you letter for buying the camera. I, I don't know. Super cool. Um, great feel to the paper and everything. Uh, really exciting. Pretty cool thing. And then... It looks like this has, there's another piece of original paperwork here. Never seen this before. Um, it says Canon Club. Now, I know Canon has CPS today for Canon Professional Services for professional photographers to get their cam camera equipment serviced. But I don't know what any of it says. It's all in Japanese. But ooh, look at this. What is this? What is this? Is this the warranty card? Or is this just the registration to, I think this is the registration to the club, but look at, look at this. That is, that is cool. That is cool. I don't know, I'm gonna put it back in there. I don't want it to get damaged. There's this nice yellowing to the, to the paper and everything. It's never been out. There's not a single mark or anything on it. So, but yeah, something about a camera club, I don't know. May, I don't know, oh, what is this? Oh wow, the original price tag to the camera. So um, I'm not sure how their pricing work. It looks like to me it says 189,000 yen. I don't know. Yeah, so if you know, comment down below. Let me know what, what that means if it's just 189 dollars. I mean yen. You know, and then the zeros would be like cents, equivalent to our cents, or if that's really 189,000 yen. I don't know. I know that uh, for a while uh, back then, Japan had an inflation issue like we're having. <gasps> Ooh, looky, looky here. What do we have? The camera, the camera, okay. Oh, wow. It still has the, it's got the plastic, the plastic on the bottom. <laughs> That is awesome. That is awesome. Original Canon, Canon cap, and here we're gonna take the plastic off. Uh, now, uh, now this is this is used camera. You you can see in some places here um, where it is. But these are the caps I was telling you about. The three, the three caps I was telling you about. So these could just submit. The one on. Let's see which side it is. There's one that goes up into the film chamber. Yep, okay, yep. This one goes up into the film chamber. And if this one is not in place, your camera's not light tight. And guess what? All your films are exposed. So if you're shopping for one of these, it's okay if you don't have these two caps, okay? Uh, not great, it's nice to have them, right? But this cap right here, critical. If you see a hole through the bottom and you don't have this cap, okay, this is not the camera you're gonna to wanna to buy. But, what a great sound. I love the tactile feel of this one, like the, the film rewind knob and everything. Best camera um, for film rewind I have that I've, that I've seen. Um, wow, you know, um, you know, back then they called it ASA, not ISO, on the film. Uh, should do a video on that too. All right. So the way you change it is that you lift. Uh, um, well, no. Oh no, this is the one with the. Is it this button here? No, that's the exposure compensation um, dial. Okay. So, oh, the film. That that's it. That's it. There's a little tiny silver button on this way. And this is how you would change the ISO. So, so by pressing that button, everything is made to think that the professional in mind with this camera, because you know, if, if you're a professional, especially if you're a photojournalist, which is what these cameras are really designed for, because it's what 35 millimeter, it's what you know, news photographers used was 35 millimeters. And this, this, can, this is what it's for. And so like everything is kind of locked down to prevent the camera from changing settings when you're doing photojournalism work. And if you've ever done it before, very physical, very intense. So um, has its original eyepiece back here on the back. 
This is something that usually always got lost right away. Um, I will probably store that so I don't lose it whenever I am using the camera, to be honest. And then put that back on there. And then, yeah, wonderful condition. You can see where they've kind of touched up the paint on here from the brassing um, here. Usually there's a little plastic piece in between here in the black to help protect the, the, the painting on here. But um, fantastic camera. We'll go over like all the different settings and reviews and how it all works in future videos. But just really wanted to do, man, I'm excited. This <laughs> is so cool. So cool. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that Canon sound. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get this all assembled and everything and make more videos with it and shoot some film through it. And uh, hopefully you guys come along with a journey with me um, as kind of starting this new, this new, this new thing, um, doing film. Not really new to me, but... Um, it, it, it certainly has taken a life on, uh, of its own in recent times with uh, interest has grown a lot. I originally had this camera and I sold it in 2010. I bought it probably in 94, 95, 96, somewhere in that area, 1996, um, you know, late 90s uh, for myself. And I used it um, till switching digital until I would say at least 2002, 2003. And then um, I held on to it and then I had to sell it, um, unfortunately, um, whenever uh, finances were tight in 2010. And, and I wasn't using it, it was just sitting on a shelf and I thought it could go to a good home, maybe someone would use it. And I uh, always regretted it. So I, I did originally look for my original one, see if I could find who it was that bought my original one. I, I couldn't find who it was. And because uh, I was going to see if they still had it and if I could buy it back, but I uh, never found them, but found this, this one instead and uh, super excited about it. We're going we're gonna to have some fun. We're going to make some videos. It's going to be good. And now that I have the motor drive, I'm most definitely going to, uh, to use it. It's that good of a condition and everything, at least a little bit. So otherwise I'm going to carry it like, you know, like this typically, that way I can carry it more often and it's gonna be, I mean, it's still a chunky camera, but anyways, hope you enjoyed it and uh, tune in for more. We're gonna be talking about all sorts of different things, photography. Anyways, should be fun, all right? Have a good one.